Hey everyone, it's High Tech Man here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make ringtones for your iPhone. You're probably thinking, well, why would you want that? You can always pay for the ringtone on iTunes. Well, sometimes they're not as good quality or they just don't have that song that you like or the specific section of a song. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can extract that small section of a song and make it into a ringtone for your iPhone for free. All right, let's get started. So you can see here on my computer, I've already have Galaxies by Al City selected. And I just so happen to know that right at about uh, 31 seconds into the song is right where I want my ringtone to start. Come take off the time bomb. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get to the main point. You're just going to have to right click on the song. After that, you're going to want to create, uh, you're going to want to uh, get the info. Click on get info. And then you're going to want to hit options. And you see here there's going to be a start and stop time. You want to select both of those. Since I just so happen to know that my where the section is that I wanted to start, I want it to start at exactly 31 seconds. And then I want the song to stop at exactly 0 colon, let's say, um, 40 seconds. Uh, no, let's do uh, 49 seconds. Okay? That's a pretty good ringtone size. So you can click OK. So now if we double click on the song. You'll see that it automatically started at 31 seconds, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the song and you want to convert that to an AAC or create an AAC version. It's gonna, you'll see now you have two files. There's one that's 18 seconds long, one that's 4 minutes and 3, three seconds long. You're going to go back to your original file, right click on it, click on get info again. And then you're going to want to take off the start and stop time. That way it doesn't mess with your file format, okay? Now you have your new AAC version. Now what it is, you want to right click on that new one, the new file, and then you want to, uh, you want to basically go to this actual location. So in this case, show and finder. In the PC, it's going to basically be, uh, you see, an explorer. So you can see here that we have the song. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to my desktop. And then I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to delete the file or delete the name of this off of the computer. So I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to say delete song. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the file and I'm going to manually change the extension from M4A to M4R. Okay. Hit enter. You, if you're on a Macintosh, it'll say, are you sure you want to use it? Just say yes. And then all you have to do now is double click on the song and it'll automatically send it to your tone section. And then after it's automatically added, we're going to add it to my iPhone real quickly. So just hang on a second. Call back the cap, come take off the top. So you can see right there, Galaxies by Al City. It's right there under my tone section. So I'm going to go to my iPhone 4. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my tones. You can see it says already synchronized tones. It's all tones. So what I'm going to do is just hit synchronize. And just give it a second. I'll fast forward this part for you. Okay, so now that it's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my iPhone, slide to unlock, go to my settings, go under sounds, go under my ringtone, and then I just need to look for galaxies right there. And of course, it's just going to keep ringing until you pick up the phone. But there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you create a ringtone from one of your songs with minimal effort, really. So this has been another High Tech Man video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And subscribe to my Twitter, guys, because I'm actually posting a bunch of news about all kinds of things that we're doing with the channel. Not only that, but news that you might want to know about iPhones, iPod Touches, Android-based devices, and all kinds of things. Again, this has been High Tech Man signing off.